I would describe Banya as... Oh no, it's Kenny Banya. Who's he? Oh, he's this awful comedian. The most annoying person in the world. That's what it said on the audition, and uh, interestingly enough, uh, when I went to the audition, the walls are thin. You can see, you can hear through the walls. And everybody was doing this nasty guy, nasty guy, and I was like, I don't think that's gonna work. So I actually uh, quickly decided to make him adore Jerry. Hey, Jerry! How's it going? You gonna join us for dinner? The duck here's the best, the best, Jerry. And now you see the character, and you're like, well, that's who the character is. But that's not how it was. So as soon as I did that, then the writers picked, and Larry and Jerry fell off the couch and loved it. And then uh, the writers took off with it, and then, and then Banya became a lapdog. That's gold, Jerry. Gold! What do I think were Banya's funniest moments? I think the That's Gold, Jerry Gold was probably it, because nobody else could do that. One time, um, Robert Plant from Led Zeppelin was interviewed, and he said, what's your favorite Led Zeppelin song? And they said, Cashmere. And if you know that song, you know, boom, ba -na -na, boom, ba -na -na. only one band can make that sound. Only one character can make the sound. That's gold, Jerry. Go. So there you go. <laughs> How about that, Jerry? First you had a pilot on NBC, and now I'll have one. Looks like I'm following you again. Oh, well, I'm gonna puke. Puke? That's a funny word. Can I use that? What other lines still stick with me? Uh, some of the craziest lines that I thought, this is ridiculous, this can't work. Uh, puke, that's a funny word. Like, I, I, just ridiculous stuff like that. I go, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll give that a try. How's it going? Great, I've been working out. Went from a size 40 to a 42. No kidding. Yeah, I'm huge. Uh, and then the other one was right off the boot, uh, the uh, one where uh, I went from a 42 to a 44, which is why I couldn't wear the suit. And I go, yeah, I'm huge. And then that just took off. And a lot of the things Banya said just took off. And I'm huge is probably one that surprised me. <clears throat> why do they call it oval team? The mug is round. The jar is round. They should call it round team. Why do they call it Ovaltine? All I'll say to that is, um, people bring me jars of Ovaltine to sign. And I'll sign it and I go, you know, I have, the, I have the Guinness Book of World Records for signing jars of Ovaltine, and I had that record at one. Nobody has ever signed a jar of Ovaltine <laughs> except me. Soup's not a meal. You were supposed to buy me a meal. Does soup really count as a meal? No, it does not. You have the hot dog earlier. You see the problem? But I had the hot dog. I didn't tell you to have a hot dog. Who told you to have a hot dog? What I remember best about Jerry, uh, he would just stick me into scenes and he would make you so comfortable. One time we were doing this scene, it didn't even air, but I had to say to him, uh, on the net, Jerry, the net. And it wasn't working, so I said, what if I yell it at you as you're leaving? You know, on the net, Jerry, the net. And he goes, so you think of I, Seinfeld. Leave Seinfeld and leave you there, that's the fix. I said, you see, you jerk, that's how comfortable you make everybody feel. So you could really try anything you want. <laughs> Uh, 42. 42? That's what I am now. Mm. I've been working out. I'm huge. <laughs> what was Banya's worst offense? Uh, he, that he claimed he worked out. <laughs> In my, when you said I had to get into character, he was a liar. I mean, he didn't work out. Don't tell anyone. Hey, Jerry, where's my suit? How often do I get uh, approached by Seinfeld fans? Well, I, if I walk out the front door, I mean, it's on. It's on right now. Right? It's on three times a day in whatever town you're in. And I think the most popular one is, uh, that's gold, Jerry. But usually, the, instead of saying a line, they'll want to like, start the conversation. Go, hey, did you ever get that suit back? And I still don't have a good answer for that. I'm like, uh, no, I, I don't know how to answer. Where would Banya be now? Um, on the net, Jerry, the net. He'd be, doing, he'd be doing something on the internet and probably following Jerry in some way, or in front of Jerry. Wouldn't it be great if Banya's career happened better than Jerry's did? That's the way I see it. Do I have any other favorite memories from set? Uh, yeah, I remember when I uh, talked about how different things were. The first one I did, I was sitting in the green room, which is the area where you, where you wait to start the show, and because it was so long ago, I was reading a newspaper, <laughs> yes, uh, the USA Today, and Jerry walks in and he says, uh, oh, look at Heitner, so cool and calm. Oh, I did a murder she wrote last week and doing Seinfeld this week. And uh, the interesting thing was he was more nervous than I was because in his route, he said, I, I, I'm, I'm a stand-up who acts, and I think in my route, I'm, a, I'm an actor who does stand-up. So uh, I'm just more comfortable when I do that, and it was funny to watch him be nervous. Why do I think Seinfeld is beloved 30 years later? It's part of culture now, but there was no cell phones. It was a whole different culture. So the fact that it just continues to relate 
It's just a, a testament to the great writing. So I think the answer to that is great writing. But think of how different life is than how life was during those Seinfeld episodes.